And this week we're back in the studio, uh, and I have、uh, Intriguen with me. He's、uh, just got a remix album that just dropped fifth、uh, of March.、Uh, yes, kind of like hot off、uh, his album release、uh, that came out November of 2020, and now we have、uh, I Love Remixes that's out now. Yep, and we're excited to have him in the studios.、Uh, you know, just to chat with him、Ooh. about it. I think、uh, later on we're gonna be chatting with.、Uh, well, he's gonna be chatting with Amanda about the the music video that、uh, they they worked on together. But first, I mean, like I'm here to kind of like、uh, just chat chat with him. Like you know, this、uh, this whole remix and like how how it all you know came about. Yep. Yeah, I mean like.、Uh, That's an amazing,、uh, you know, list of like producers that I've never ever heard before. You、mm. know that、uh, that you kind of like put out. You know, we've got like,、uh, you know, Heft. We've got Elect featuring Tommy, Mobius, Haunted Ghost, Baron Sector, and、uh, well, BTC, P R O X,、uh, and of course Beat Prox. Yeah, <laughs> Beat Prox. I don't know. Maybe I've got to check with.、Uh, <laughs> This how to pronounce it, and of course we've got Claude, Claude Glass, yeah, aka Isa Ong, Isa Ong, yeah, yeah. So, so, so how did this like、uh, you know this whole remix like project you know came about, and why 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 did you kind of pick、uh, My Love to be like the single to be the remix one, or the I guess like the lead single of the album? I guess uh, uh, ultimately it was kind of from a.、Uh, Marketing standpoint of like how I wanted to promote the music video,、mm-hmm. so because we are we were kind of like in the midst with like me and Amanda were in the midst of prepping for the music video, and then we are thinking about how we're going to release the music video. So I was like, I was thinking like, oh, should I just release it out like that? You know, because technically the album is already out, the songs are out. So how can I release the music video as something? You know, so I thought. I I was thinking about it. That I I spoke to like Amanda and everybody else. Like, oh, how should I release it? And then, thanks to Naomi from Midnight Shift. So she actually she was the producer for the music video shoot. So there was one day that I actually saw her at the event, and then I was telling her that, oh yeah, so like I'm planning to release the music video. So like, what should I do with it? And she was like, why don't you just do an open call, like remix of、uh, Your Love? Now I, I was like. Oh shit! That sounds like a good idea because I've never tried doing an open call remix. Because the past few like remixes or like the project, the remix album that I've did for the previous album or what is kind of like I pick the producers, I kind of like chose them and then they I I give them the track and then they did the the remix. So I thought it was a really good, interesting idea to kind of like just take all the stems and just throw it. You know,、okay. into the into so, the sphere. So how was this like a、uh, process? Like、uh, I know you kind of did a kind of a shout out on your socials. Yes. That,、uh, to kind of like producers all over the world, right? Yeah.、Uh, and like、uh, you know, whoever responded, you kind、mm. of like send them the stems and all that.、Uh, yeah, I guess because it, it was from the post that like to promote the music video, and then I kind of like timed it. Like okay, maybe. You give them like two weeks to do the remix. So I, I I post I did a post of like oh it's, I've put up my stems on Instagram and then like whoever can can download the the stems and then you no know, remix it. So I actually put this. I actually thought of giving a Google link, but then I decided like oh maybe I want to see who downloads the the stuff. So it's so it's better for you to kind of like control to, to it. Gauge, right? Yeah. So、okay. I put I put on the WeTransfer link. Then I realize that WeTransfer link. Doesn't show you who downloads the track. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, so when I when I did the, the at the first day when I did it, I was like, I was like, oh shit, I don't even know who downloaded. Like, how would I know? Or anybody, even like, I was worried. Like, what if nobody actually take took part in this? <laughs> Now I was like, oh shit. What, what? So that was your initial like worry that yeah <laughs> nobody will be participating. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, but, but、uh, I mean, like you you had like I guess uh you know quite a fair amount of people that you know responded to you、yeah. and like uh and not all of these artists are like from uh from Singapore, right? Yeah, yeah. So maybe yeah. Tell so us I guess what's interesting. Yeah, so I guess that's the beauty of Instagram and like social media and stuff because there's so many people that like I follow or or even they follow me. They are not from Singapore, and I also follow a lot of international artists, even in Asia or、mm-hmm. around the world. So it's it's really like surprising or, or like how, how everything like connects because you can just most of the time I'm just talking to them 
through Instagram. Like now, Instagram message is like the to me is like a new thing. You can talk to people yeah, via Instagram. Yeah. So I thought it was really like a uh, a fresh thing to do. And then like how I got like and then they will ask me like oh yeah I downloaded the your your stamps I'll, I'll give it a shot so that's like okay maybe one person downloaded it or two person downloaded it okay yeah so slowly like in, in a couple of days then I realized that oh okay I got like one remix back so the first remix I got back was Haunted Ghost it was this guy that followed me I think he's actually from the US uh huh so he he also like um his Instagram name is Logan Lofi. So I've I've never I don't know this person. So he's like, yeah, I I I took a dig on your remix. Now now here you go. Like, let me know what you think. And okay. it was really good. Okay. Yeah, I actually had a I had like a listen through like all the remixes. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, if any if all you are listening now, uh, you can check them out on Bandcamp. Uh, yeah. Intriguen dot Bandcamp dot com. Yeah. All right. And how else can people actually, you know, get a hold of, uh, or actually, because it's not on Spotify. I mean, what's your plan mm. for 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 these remixes? So, eventually, I will put them on to Spotify because the only reason, to me, the only reason why I decided to put on Bandcamp first, mm-hmm. and I timed it, coincidentally, it was Bandcamp Friday, which means all the fees will go to the artists. Mm-hmm. So I thought like it'll be a, if a, a nice thing to like you know, if people to buy the 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 compilation and then the money I can just like you know distribute, distribute to, to them so they're like they get, they get something out of it okay yeah so that was the, that was the initial plan and okay. I'm planning to definitely planning to put it on Spotify like soon okay so if actually people go out and you know buy your album you know at the analog vault or you know online will they be able to get access to the remixes as well mm yeah I mean probably I would, I'm I'm thinking of something along those lines of like trying to push the records out so you can get these records at Analog Vault you know and other record shops like Choice Cuts and B-Side Records we actually got, cu- got a couple of records uh, overseas as well like in Melbourne Northside Records and soon in uh, Hong Kong White but, Noise Records but they should be able to buy off your bank cam directly as well do they uh, at the moment yes yes okay yeah. yeah so actually if you have already bought a copy of this album and you want access to the yes you want access to the tracks please drop him an email drop me an email or just or just just message me on instagram i'll send you the link okay yeah anyway like back back into like the you know the artist that uh um that remakes the the track for you yeah uh you told me about some interesting stories you know mm. like yeah <laughs> yeah before this recording you mm. said like uh, you know there was a there was a guy that from yeah. myanmar yeah so uh the first track of the compilation Heft he's actually from Myanmar so I think how I, I actually got to know him was uh, one of his friends who was actually a visual artist did some stuff for uploading for like one of those uh, 30 seconds uh, music with the visuals that I did a mm. couple of months ago so he was friends with this girl called Zune so I was like oh yeah his friends then we started just following each other and just like randomly talking about stuff so he was the one that you know he took up the remix and then the interesting story i mean like as you know what's going on in uh, myanmar right now so he was he actually messaged me like he said hey like sorry bro give me a, a couple more days like you know it's it's very hard to produce during the cool then i was like wow that's like wow <laughs> this is yeah. crazy and it's amazing that he managed to like you know put yeah. it out put it out uh, in time for the release yeah yeah and uh yeah any more like interesting uh stories uh, from any of the you know, the artists I guess everything is really like, it's pretty to me it's very really interesting because I like at the beginning I didn't know who actually downloaded it so only when they send me the track then I know that okay like oh he downloaded it so like uh, Isa Ong uh, Cloud Glass was like hey here's a track I actually like you know he he did not use as much uh, he did m- mainly use the stamps as the canvas mm-hmm. he hardly added anything of his own so you can actually see how how he's like you know music editing skills and stuff like how he actually produced it to make it a track of his own i thought it was really good nice yeah and you know like uh were there any you know like uh submissions that you received that did not make this cut and you know what's uh, what's the reason and what what's your plans for like you know everything else that you received mm, yeah i guess because initially i think i i stated in the instagram post that I'm only going to release like four out of everyone mm-hmm. so obviously at the beginning I was worried nobody <laughs> signed up my name I actually got like uh, I got eight 
of it altogether. So okay. I decided to release uh, seven of them mm-hmm. and then uh, keep one for an upcoming release, which wow, I wow. will say now. Okay. We are yes. planning to do a full Spirits remix album. So a lot of so we have ten different producers that I I, I picked and uh, they're gonna re- uh, remix each of the tracks and we're gonna release it for. 12th of June, which I think is record store day. So, and there'll be a special release because once you buy the record and then like we will send you the, the uh, tracks. Okay. Yeah. Like a download card or like something. Okay. Yeah. You know, as usual, you know, you're hearing this exclusive on uh, SGCR again mm-hmm. from Louis mouth. <laughs> 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 and like, uh, okay, this is going to be a very, very difficult question. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I don't mean to put you in a spot, but like you know, of all these, uh, this current release, you know, which is your personal favorite remix? Mm, I think my personal favorite among all. I mean, ev- all the remixes are great. Like, I like how there are so many different uh, styles that I get to hear. So like one of uh, like Haunted Ghost, the first remix that I got when I heard it, I, it had it pretty much had this very burial uh, garage vibe to it, which I liked. And then uh, Half's track was really good. Cloud Glass track was really good. So even as I like got like a. Uh, Baron Sector, which is actually Ahmad Khalid. So his track is like straight up techno, it's like an epic 10 minute track. Even for Alec from uh, Vietnam Saigon, he's also like a techno track and stuff. But one track that I really like is, to me it was very unassuming because there's this kid that I actually met before. He's, he's Singaporean, so he's actually from, a, used to be from the NUS like electronic music lab mm-hmm. uh, group. So his producer name is Beatprox, BTC. P R O X. Oh yes. So That's sorry, I uh, sorry I had, I had uh, <laughs> trouble pronouncing his name. But yeah, his his remix was really like different because he kind of switched the entire vibe. It, it completely it, flipped it. Completely like. flipped it, even with the tempo and everything, and still sh- managed to keep the 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 whole form of the track or the essence. Yeah. The essence of uh, what you were trying to like, yeah. convey. So it's it's really like a okay. to me it's like kind of like a day and night thing. So it's really a complete opposite of what I was doing. Which was why I really like. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Uh, I mean, like, uh, do you have anything else to say about the release? Yeah, plug plug the release or your album again. Spirits, where can yes. you get it? <laughs> so Spirits, the record, you can get it at Analog Vault or other record shops in Singapore at Choice Cuts or B Side Records. Shout out to these other record shops. And obviously, you can get it online via my Bandcamp, intriganbandcamp.com or uh, at Analog Vault's uh, website. Okay. Yes. So we're going to take a little break and play you, uh, you know, this fantastic music video. And when we're back, we'll, uh, Louis will be speaking with Amanda. Yeah. Check it out.
So okay, I'm here with uh, Amanda, aka April. So she uh, directed the recent music video Your Love. So thank you for doing it. Yes. So uh, a little bit of background, like how we started, or like from to me, like how everything kind of came full circle of how like or even why I approached you to do the music videos because uh, I don't know whether you remember that there was one day at uh, a noise event in uh, at Plaza Singh. Oh yes. And I then we were just talking about I think that time was like 2017, 2018 and then you were yeah. saying that you I think we were talking and then you were saying that oh like you like we want to do a collaborate and do a music video and at that time I was like uh, I think I had a music video with Joanne already mm. so i thought like okay i don't i don't have anything at the moment so i said yeah maybe i'll keep that in mind so i mean i've, I've always kept that in mind and after that, when this opportunity like um arose, so i thought like eh, maybe i should ask amanda and i'm glad that you say you're down yeah no i'm i'm glad that happened too because even before that i had i think maybe spoken to you about doing something together and i really wanted to mm. and um i mean i have you know um seen like different artists in Singapore, people that I want to collaborate with, but I really wanted to do something with you because your music spoke to me and I wanted to do something that I feel like was an expansion of what my visual language was, which is not necessarily mm. uh, the case for everyone's music. Yeah. Uh, not that I don't enjoy doing music videos for other genres, but uh, I feel like this gives us uh, a chance to flex a muscle that may be a little bit more different does mm. that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, like, you know, Amanda don't, don't do music video for everybody. You know? She actually rejected a few artists. She told no. Me. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> to be fair, okay, <laughs> to clarify, because that sounds so obnoxious, but um, I think, like, if you do music videos in Singapore, you really yeah. do it because you want to, uh, mm. because you're, you, you, it's, it's usually passion yeah. projects. It's not something that you earn money from. That's not yeah, yeah. the landscape here. I mean, unfortunately. So, I felt like if I were gonna, if I was gonna take time out from, um, especially last year being, you know, mm. the year that has been, uh, we all had to make ends meet. And uh, when we choose something that we do for love, we really, you know, can be more discerning yeah, yeah, yeah. in that aspect. So that's why, not just cause I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and, it, and I wish I had the ability to do more. I mean, honestly, mm. like I would say yes to everyone if I could. Right, um, right. Yeah, but it's yeah. I mean, I get, I totally get it with co collaboration. You kind of like have to have, like, work with people of the same wavelength and try to like understand. Uh, like even yeah. for the concept, like the one that uh, like you came up with and you showed it to me, I was like, yeah, that's actually this, the 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 concept yeah. that like you couldn't have put it in words better than me. <laughs> no, but I mean, I was really bouncing off from your energy yeah. from the first uh, we we met first. Um, and and you spoke to me about the idea you wanted and i was kind of translating that in my head mm -hmm. um and you were talking about spaces and filling them with energy and um i think you i think i would let you talk more about the spirits aspect of it because mm -hmm. i think you had a great uh right uh maybe you can talk about that then i'll i'll i'll, I'll get okay. to where i got to uh after that <laughs> yeah so uh the concept i was talking about uh with amanda at the beginning was kind of in tune with the album because with spirits, I was trying to explore on like how spaces are, to me, like w whenever spaces are like empty, especially it's either they are not in use, abandoned or probably like after a party. So it's kind of like you're there in the day or, you know, even sometimes at night. Even you you step in an empty space and kind of it gives you the, the form of energy that, that uh, you can actually feel that is kind of similar to uh, crowded places. So like, I mean, one, one story that I have that kind of inspired me for this whole concept was when I was doing a theatre show in uh, maybe last year or two years ago. And then what I realised from theatre shows is before they start the show, they kind of uh, burn incense and then they put at the corner of the stages and then they wait till the incense get burned off. And then they'll start the show. So I was talking to my friend, the director, I was like, hey, like why do they do this? Like, why, why should you do that for a show? So to me, he, he gave a really good explanation. He was saying that like, if he said if you don't realize that all these black boxes and stuff these places for shows are always 70 percent uh empty and then you, or you only use it for the 30 percent of the whole time so when it's empty you kind of like invite you know different spirits into the space so it's kind of like in a way of like blessing the space or kind of like asking permission 
to to use the space, you know. So I thought like I thought, wow, that was a really interesting thing that you know, apart from the whole supernatural thing. So I thought like I I really like the idea of like how there's certain energy, like you know, the dust particles and stuff like that, you know, in the space. Yeah. yeah. No, and I, and I think like when you told me this, it was kind of uh, inspiring many ideas in my head, and it it begs me to question also like what's beyond like like beyond humans occupying a space what else occupies a space i think um i don't want to give it a definition you know it's not just about spirits being supernatural but i think that there's more than just our energy in the world i feel mm -hmm. so um to expand on that and then when i was sitting down to do the treatment after you talked to me you know because i was going to meet up with you again and you know run through the ideas in my head um and then also you mentioned like um the underground aspect of it you wanted mm. that that feeling of descending downwards you know as yes, if you're going yeah. to, uh, to a basement party in like yeah, yeah. europe or in singapore i don't know where we go to a basement here but <laughs> um so I, I i thought about that as well so i wanted to have this sensation that um the dancer that we featured is going deeper and deeper down mm -hmm. into the earth um and then also thinking about the places um, that we could shoot at, the locations are kind of like a point of inspiration because mm -hmm. um, there are spaces that you, when you sit in, you feel different from when you're just sitting. Yeah. Like, yeah. In a, you know, cafe is cafe. But then like yeah. when you're when you're going somewhere specific, and I remember this when we used to party back when clubs <laughs> are, uh, were like a real thing, um, that especially when you're alone and you're not around your friends, mm -hmm. that's like an emotional feeling, especially when you're hearing music. Yeah. Um, or if the music stops for a moment, yeah, or if you feel the smoke on your face or something. Yeah. Um, so I thought about spaces that that made me feel that kind of emotional reaction. I don't want to say exactly what, and I think yeah. that's what we talked about too with the dancer as well. Mm -hmm. Like the emotion that we're going for, or the feeling, or the the evocation that we wanted wasn't necessarily something that you can put your finger on. Like oh it's lonely or it's um yeah. happy or it's yeah. sad it's more that in between yeah it's very feeling. ambiguous yeah. yeah that in between feeling of um that you can't necessarily describe mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. yeah um but dancer wise he actually lewis found a dancer so yeah yeah i mean there was a couple of like uh dancers that um like i follow on instagram or some that are recommended from friends that uh wanted to because initially at the end of the day, I wanted to do a dance video. So it's like, how could we find, and I can't just find any other dancer. So I thought like, which is the the best person to fit for this uh, scenario. So uh, I guess in the end, eventually we managed to find Joni. Yeah. It was like, I mean, she's super good. She's really open to the whole idea and stuff. And then we actually met her, we spoke to her and then like, uh, we told her the concept and everything. She, and she really, she would, she to me like what i felt she understand because yeah. she kind of experienced it before rather than you know asking someone who has never been to like who is not like at least who's not like a person who goes to parties and stuff like that so yeah. she 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 totally understand like uh where we were coming from yeah i mean i think that jonah um she she is a, a girl of a few words but i think that's why she's a dancer because she she uses dance as her language to yeah. speak to us to speak to the audience and um, she was talking to me about her movement language, mm. um, kind of like how we wanted it to, to, to look like. And I was like kind of open to it that whatever interpretation she, she had. I wasn't so concerned about what the dance looked like specifically, mm -hmm. but more like when she was in that moment, you know, that, that, that all-consuming space, that all-consuming um, movement yeah. uh, to be the only thing that is uh, happening at that time. So I remember when I was directing her, so I was like, show me who you are i mean yeah, sounds yeah, a little yeah. bit corny but um <laughs> and it may be a bit extreme but it's more like and uh, i think that's where dance and music comes in mm. you know when you're in the flow everything else melts away right yeah yeah so that's what i kind of wanted when we were when we were doing it and we filmed for very long so at some point i'm yeah. sure she was only like oh <laughs> and there's like nothing else going on with that yet <laughs> like, i'm sure she, yeah she definitely gave like 110 percent throughout she was amazing and um, i mean it, thank you join it for yeah. for dedicating i mean yes. we film all the way to sunrise so. yeah so shout out to join for being such a trooper throughout for the 18 hour shoot was it 18 
I think so. It was close to eighteen. Oh, yeah. God. I I honestly don't know, but not just join it. Thanks to everyone. Who yes, helped everybody. Us. So yes. yeah, I guess like even for the venues, like you know, the venues that they were so nice to, to to give their space to let us uh like experiment or to for the video. So like I mean like shout out to Jose for substation. Yeah. He he was like so open to let us use substation. substation. You know. For in every, in, in fact, there's let's use almost throughout the entire substation, yeah. the whole building of substation to like, to to film and like like go around and stuff. So I mean that was great. Yeah, it was it was really awesome and yeah. um, we overshot by two hours. Did, uh, okay. <laughs> but I mean, shoot, it and happens. They, yeah, they're super chill. They're just waiting outside for us to finish all the way. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that it, it's sad also because I think it marks the end of um, an era with Substation and yeah. I'm, we're really glad that we got to shoot there before and mm. we shot in parts of the Substation that not necessarily everyone has been to. Yep. So there's, I mean, sad bar in the bottom in the basement. I think people mm-hmm. have seen that. But some yep. of the rooms, like the storeroom, which is this very weird room. I was so interested in shooting there because it's like when you stand there, the ceiling is like right here. Yeah. And it's very constraining and it's yeah. very... Uh, it was actually connected to timber which I have no idea yeah yeah so it's a very strange space and and it allowed our dancer to to play within that space um a very constraining strange place with mm. a lot of random things that we had to move a bit <laughs> yeah yeah and even we actually filmed uh like the outside of uh substation right yes the, the roads and stuff so we were, they were really uh it kind of brings the, the vibe because I guess most of the time like uh I was telling you like to, the the vibe has to be grungy. Right yeah. Now. yeah, of course. <laughs> um, but it was also a natural thing because yeah. um, substation itself it's in the the district that has mm. these kind of spaces. Yeah. So the moment that I recce substation, I was walking around by myself outside. I was like, these alleys are great. Yeah. And they were very quiet alleys, which is not always the case in Singapore. Mm. Um. So. Uh, yeah, and a lot of people who watched it was like, oh, I don't necessarily think it's Singapore, but it's still Singapore. Like, yeah. we're not, not trying to look like it. We're not yeah. we're not trying to look like anything. It's just, mm. um, it could be here, it could be elsewhere, but it's definitely here as yeah. well. Yeah, which is, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the spaces, and then even for uh, somewhere. So I don't know where you, whether you guys know where somewhere is. <laughs> so it's a, it's, a, it's a really nice uh, event space. Uh, by the council so shout out to Eileen and Clement for letting us use uh, somewhere so we actually uh, got in Flex who is like a lighting designer visual artist and B-Cube to kind of set up like the whole uh, lasers and lights that you saw in the music video so I thought that was like really like amazing yeah Flex did amazing I mean we all know Flex does a lot of things like that so <laughs> we were also talking to him a creative do it for a budget <laughs> Yes, uh, thanks, um, Chris and Flex, and actually everyone. Um, yes, everyone. Uh, which I'll get to, but uh, yeah. when we did come up with the lasers, there was also a conversation about yeah. how did we want the story of the lasers to be? Yeah, yeah. Because it's in a cage kind of format, mm-hmm. right? In an yeah. X. So um, yeah, there's yeah. a kind of a barrier, in in um. Con- what's what, what is it when people are in prison? There's a word for it. Mm. Confined, Conf- yeah, yeah, yes. So there's that kind of aspect to it. So it's not just a party party lasers. Yeah, yeah um, there was a story there as well. Mm. Mm. So even for the the final location we shot at was at uh, the Keppel District Park, and that was that wasn't in our list at the beginning. And it was actually uh, like recommended by Eileen. So she was at somewhere and she was telling us, like, "Hey, maybe you, sh- you guys yeah. should go check out a uh, Keppel District Park." And we're like, "Oh, okay." I mean, it was nearby. So I think when we we went there to recce and then we we thought like okay this will be a, a great you can, space. We felt it though the moment you step yeah. out of the car that space has like the air and everything. Um, there have been events I think that uh, Art Week they had like a show there as yeah. well. Um, but also I had been there before for other things and mm. I just really liked how open it felt, which is quite rare here, like yeah. Singapore. So everything's like smallish. Yeah. Um, so that was like, also a nice breather between indoor spaces. Mm. So yeah, the, that was nice. the idea of that she's traveling downwards, um, almost like club hopping mm. or space hopping in a sense. Um, also, that comes across in edit because when I edited it, it almost seems like she appears yeah. in spaces. She she walks, of course, um, but that illusion of her being everywhere and nowhere is kind of uh, mm. something that I wanted to to do. Yeah. 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 
on that, I will. I also want to just say um, for the people who actually shot it, like Jufri, our yes. DP. I wanted to mention Jufri. this is very important. Jufri, Naomi, who helped out, even my makeup artist, like uh, and all Kenneth. the crew, um, Tian, who was very supportive. Like Jufri, like when I told him, like and talked to him about the concept, and he, you know, being a part of the underground music scene, also like being having been mm. exposed to it, he knows exactly yes. what we're going for, and that was amazing. And I had this conversation with him. Um, and he was like, oh, we could do it this way yeah. or we could do it that way. And I was like, what's the most unsafe way to do it? Yeah. What is the thing you want to do that the commercials won't let you do? Yeah. And she's like, okay, then we just don't, yeah. you know, we did like movement on trolleys and things like that. Yeah. Even with Kenneth makeup wise, um, really talking about a look that was like, like, yeah. you know, it's not, it's singing like what on purpose yeah, yeah. and like something that is um, relevant to what, the genre is mm. so it's like uh, when he did silver it's like oh that's too disco so yeah all the creatives involved in it uh, including the post team we're all finding this yeah culture that we're trying to portray sorry i talked a lot <laughs> <laughs> no i mean it's, it's it's crazy like um no i just i i, I just want to say like because the pre i I've, I've done a music video that's filmed before so at the time it was like i guess it was a small crew so when <laughs> when the crew arrived at substation mm. with the whole Mac liner and I know what's a Mac liner now. <laughs> so, Did you not before? I have no idea oh. what a Mac liner is. So like when the crew arrived, like when Tian and the guys arrived with this huge trolley with all the lights and the cameras and everything. Now I was like like okay, like this shit is real. This is like a proper production. I've never yeah. been on the proper production before. Well shout out to Abundant for lending it all to us for free. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because they are very supportive of supportive of local musicians and artists. Mm. So I think that's the, yeah. I felt so much love, you know, on this shoot. Yeah. Don't you think? I mean, think? it's really, it's, it's, especially for me as the artist, I, like, I'm in a position where I d actually don't even need to be at the shoot. Like, I don't even need to be there. Thank, but then, thank you for being there and helping <laughs> buy food. Like, we actually really needed it. So that, that, that was what I wanted to uh, experience. I always wanted to experience, yeah. like, or even, like, in general, it's like the whole community, you know, the synergy and everything. I like that kind of feeling. So yeah. I thought, like, okay, I'll just go for this 18-hour shoot. And then, it's amazing to see how everyone works together. Even they, everybody knows that it's like, you know, you're doing out of love because, and then, because obviously there's not a lot of money involved and stuff. So you can see like the, the love of, of doing it. Even there was one guy, I remember uh, one grip or something. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, he came out of nowhere because I remembered the faces and then this guy appeared at the la one of it the last few locations so somewhere. Funny. And I was like, hey, yeah. like, uh, are you here before? I said, no, I just came here because I finished a shoot. And I and I saw like my friends were posting this thing and I felt like left out so I came down and yeah. helped. That was like I was like what? <laughs> that was so great. I mean yeah. that it was a very natural, uh, like put to like this crew felt very natural. It was yeah, like yeah. oh man I have to like because like we definitely overshot. I mean it's supposed yeah. to be ten hours. So some people had shoots the next day. Yeah, and they were like oh man I want to stay but I can't and I'm like you know then but Daniel showed up so it was this. It was like a a, a movement of people who really wanted mm. to to be involved who who believed in, in the music and the idea. I think yeah. that was very cool. Uh, even for post, um, you know, when City was editing with me, we yeah, were yeah. really like, the energy bouncing off, um, I think that's probably similar to like what people are doing when they're remixing, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shout out to City and Eugene. Yeah. <laughs> um, for the color grade, looking at all the references with... And of course, Amanda for pulling all, everything together. <laughs> I think I think it was a team effort for everyone and yeah. uh, I'm I'm actually really excited when the artist is on shoot and able mm. to be there and like you know cuz I, I I was asking you like how do you feel about this yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. Uh, before the day got very old and everyone's just like uh, I think we got into a zone mm. um but then we we also had a kind of like creative uh ability to have a creative discussion mm. on okay this is the right look this is the right feel yeah, yeah. So that was cool. That was very fun. I think that's, uh, it's like, you know, when you do so much commercial work, it feels nice too, right? Yeah. It's so mm. good. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I mean, yeah. And uh, we really did enjoy working on the video. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. I'm so excited to share it with everyone. Thank you guys. Thank you. See you guys soon. See you. <laughs>